When I bought my Super Pro Light, it only came with a single tool holder for a 3 8 inch end mill. So I bought a handful more on eBay, but uh, the pull stud wasn't quite the same shape. Uh, I ended up trying to manually file it down a little bit to get it closer, uh, to get it to fit, uh, but it still it seemed to grab and not release as well as the original. So uh, hey, here's a perfect job uh, for the Pro Light Turning Center as my first job, and um, we'll see what happens here. I started by measuring the original and making a 3D model in Fusion 360. Basically, I just um, created this one sketch and then uh, revolved it around the center uh, to create the full pull stud model. I measured the threads and decided they were M8 by 1.25 millimeters. This was my first time trying to set up a cam operation for a lathe, so uh, you can see right there real quick it took me about 12 tries before I finally got it dialed in how I wanted it. But um, you know what, for my first time doing it in Fusion 360 it was fairly easy. Um, just uh, putting in the size of my stock, doing a, a face facing operation, and then a, a roughing profile uh, before I did the threading. Uh, I only roughed the, the area that I was going to thread because I wanted to keep as much stock as possible to support that because uh, the threading tool put a lot of pressure on that part. Um, then after that, I went on and roughed the rest of the piece and then did finishing passes. And uh, then I used a, a grooving tool to uh, kind of sharpen some of the edges and then finally part off the piece. In total, I used four tools to, uh, to create this piece. Here's the simulation of what's supposed to happen. All right, let's try to cut this out. I bought some cheap aluminum round bar to do uh, all my test cutting in until I figured out how how this was gonna work. So I could see already something was odd about uh, how this was cutting. Uh, you know, this should have stopped in the center of the bar and it went all the way to the very end of it. I've skipped some of the cut in this first pass to get to the point uh, to show you what went wrong in case anyone else has this problem. It seems to be cutting properly in the Z axis, but on the X axis, uh, I can see that it's cutting way deeper than it's supposed to be. So I'm still uh, not sure what's going on at this point. It eventually fails here as uh, it's just cutting much deeper than I anticipated. So after some investigation, I found out that the Mazo controller uh, wants it to be on diameter mode, but uh, it's not working for me. The only I've tried a bunch of settings, but the only thing I can get to work is to put it into radius mode. So here I'm editing the post processor uh, so that it'll output the file that way. Also in the Mazo controller, um, when you go through the process here of setting up your tool offsets, um, it also shows, uh, the input box shows that uh, you, you cut a, a diameter of a piece and then measure it and then put it in there. But again, it, I don't know if I'm setting something up wrong, but uh, I had to put the radius of the piece in there instead of the diameter. Otherwise, I could never get it to just stop at the center. It wanted to go all the way to the end of the stock. So for now, um, everything's working well with Fusion 360 uh, cam files and the Mazo controller. As long as when I set up my tool offsets, I put in the radius, then everything's working. Uh, unless I can find out a better solution, I'm going to leave it like that. So after making those adjustments, um, you can see here's my my first successful uh, run in the test aluminum piece.
so it looks pretty good I make a few adjustments to some of the dimensions uh, just slightly and I modify my cam files uh, over several iterations and then I'm ready to try cutting it out of steel I don't know exactly what kind of steel this is but uh, it's an old axle rod from a power wheels uh, that I tore apart to get uh, parts to fix one of my kids um, so we'll see how it cuts This piece of steel was slightly smaller diameter than the piece of aluminum I was cutting, so uh, that's why it's cutting in air here in the first few passes.
so here are the finished pieces there's the aluminum one uh, the finish looks great on the aluminum um, and here's the steel one uh, compared to it uh, it the finish doesn't look near as good but uh, it feels way stronger um, and there's the threads of both of them and here's how they compare to the original They look pretty good, so now I need to uh, make the flats on the side so I can use a wrench to tighten them and uh, grind off that little piece that the uh, lathe didn't quite cut off the top. Uh, they fit and thread pretty well into the tool holders. So my idea was to take this scrap piece of aluminum and, and drill and tap a hole that these would fit and then I could use uh, my vise to hold that to mill the flats into it. But I'm an idiot. Uh, my spindle only turns in one direction and it was just unthreading the pull stud so uh, this uh, option wasn't going to work. Um, I needed to find a different way to create the flats. And so I ended up just hand filing everything. Uh, it took a little longer but uh, it worked out in the end. Once they were all filed, then I could uh, tighten them into the tool holders. And finally, test them out and see how they grab and release. They seem like they're going to work much better. I've been really happy with how this Masso controller's worked so far. Um, I can't wait to ditch my uh, Mach 3 controllers on my other machines for, for this because uh, it, it's just so user friendly and uh, it's actually a pleasure to use. Um, here I'm just showing some of the different pages of it. Um, here you can see the tool offsets. Uh, here are all the um, wizards that it has built into it for uh, inner and outer diameter turns, facing operations, drill operations, uh, what else was that? Oh, threading operations. So uh, yeah, if you just need to do a simple part, um, you don't need a 3D model at all in Fusion 360. You can just uh, plug in your dimensions here, uh, set up the cut and save it. I'm looking forward to trying these out. Um, yeah, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to be setting this up on my Super Pro Lite and um, also adding some other upgrades to it. Um, so uh, yeah, I've been super busy and can't wait to share some more of this soon. Thanks for watching.